Thank you all for coming. This is really great. <clears throat> I'm from the mitten, right here. At least, I think I still am. These hands were forged from Motor City stock, assembled at Sparrow Hospital two miles from the home of General Motors, sent down the line to Okemos High, shiny, high performance, colorblind, American. Prom kings and fight songs and being told the whole world is right in your palm. It took me 19 years, a Supreme Court case, and a dozen patient friends to peel my eyes open, show me the color drained out of that Polaroid. Affirmative action at the University of Michigan. Diversity was not enough. We wanted justice. I came to the bay with raised fists and open eyes, looking to be shaped and contoured, pound my sleeping bear dunes into imposing Sierra Nevadas, straighten my soft cedar spine into firm coastal redwood. I came to find who was doing the real work with a deep beat, who could reach right into my Michigander soul and pull out a revolution with six color, high definition, worker owned, collectively made graphics to go with it. <laughs> Within minutes, I'm knuckle deep in Oakland soil, fighting prisons and climate change, raising signs, stopping pipelines, carrying dirty crude through the great, great West. Possibility, nourishment, movement. California is alive with what we need and I've got my fingers in the middle of it. But is this it? Can you bring home with you? Truth is, they're building pipelines right under the mitten itself. Michigan, millions of tons of poison pumped to the fingertips of Lake Superior, loaded onto a boat, floated across 20% of the world's fresh water, shipped, burned, and blackening the Earth's lungs, and our own. Squeeze the balloon at one end, it bulges to another. My grandparents have lived in Dearborn for 64 years, where Henry Ford's legacy echoes off factory walls. Produce! Efficiency! We'll create a whole new world! Now, my children are going to inherit how that plays out on this earth. Detroit's brightest moment turned collateral damage, and my generation is feeling the heat. Michigan soil is drying up, corn falling off the stalk, lakes tiptoeing further up the dunes, cherry crop devastated. To make the festival happen in Traverse City this year, they had to ship them in from out of state. Little Red Fruit, the first of the Midwest climate refugees. I'm guessing they won't be the last. My home state is shaped like a hand, but climate change is giving us all a big middle finger. Perhaps it's pointing at me too, asking me whether I should fight for where I'm from or where I am. Apples versus oranges, tornadoes versus earthquakes, pop versus soda, grandma's green jello versus vegan braised tofu, Stevie Wonder versus Sly and the Family Stone. Don't make me choose. <laughs> we can stop it here. Can we stop it here? Can we stop it here? Can you carry your home with you? In your heart? On your palm? Or is it in your feet?